Hello, this is Joy Smith from the Joy Smith Foundation. Today in Canada, someone is trafficked every day, less than a kilometer from where you are sitting right now. What is human trafficking? It usually happens with underage youth. The average age of victims who are trafficked into the sex trade in Canada is 12 to 14 years of age. Why? Because our youth are easy to manipulate. They're easy to influence. They're easy to scare. How do traffickers do that? They become friends to their targets. They want to get close to them. They're usually a little older than the victim that they target. And they give them everything. They give them praise, gifts, the assurance that they're, they're very beautiful and very wanted. These young people get things that they've never experienced before. Often they become very sexually active very, very soon, and they get a bond with this person. However, after a while, things change. The trafficker then says to them, you have to pay me back for all those gifts. You have to pay me back for all the restaurants I took you to. And how do they do that? They force them into the sex trade. 93% of traffic victims in Canada are Canadian, 93%. And primarily, it is the youth under 18 years of age. We have to become educated about how perpetrators work. We have to be able to tell our children what to look for, what are the signs. And the signs are when one or two men show up at a sports event, for example, or they are around them at some event where young people hang out and they befriend them and then they start to give them lavish gifts and they start to try to separate them from their support systems, from their sports teams, from their churches, from their families. They teach them how to lie to the parents so the parents don't know what's going on. And often this happens in wonderful families, wonderful Christian families, uh, who never suspect like something like this could happen. And the girls feel empowered for a while until things change. And then it becomes very brutal, uh, very violent. The girls are often beaten. Uh, they're separated from everything they've known before. And their lives become a living nightmare. So education about human trafficking is something that we all have to be aware of. Perpetrators make between $260,000 to $280,000 per victim per year. And this is, this is substantiated by the Criminal Intelligence Organization of Canada. Today in Canada, young people are trafficked every single day. Watch for the signs. Human trafficking happens every day here in Canada. I've said that many times, but I want to talk about what happens to the families of the victims of human trafficking because traffic victims can come from all walks of life, whether they're middle class, upper middle class, or other. They're all victims. You're at risk if you're particularly a girl. It happens to boys as well. But I want to talk about the parents of the victims because often parents blame themselves. They say, why didn't I see the signs? Why didn't I know? That's not the issue. The parents are not to blame. It's the perpetrators who are to blame. Often the girls who get into it say, how did this ever happen to me? Why didn't I, why didn't I see it? And young boys as well, they say the very same thing. I had one young man in Victoria, B.C., who told me a story. He was trafficked since he was 11 years old. And he never got over it, but was strange because he blamed himself, as a lot of the young girls do. I have to say it is not the girls' or boys' fault. The blame should be squarely on the shoulders of the perpetrators. Those are the people who knowingly target the youth. Those are the people who knowingly earn a lot of money off of what they force the youth to do. So today in Canada, we have to be aware human trafficking happens every day in Canada. We have to get educated about it, and we have to protect our families. We have the smartest kids in the world, and we have to make sure that they're aware 
of how the uh, perpetrators can be very deceiving and come on as their friends. But in the end game, the end game is often tragedy. It can be death or it can be a life that is forever changed.